<laughs> Doesn't record, see. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> so this is Hayom Yom. These are sayings from the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, <clears throat> which were compiled by the Rebbe in a pamphlet form, and they're called Hayom Yom, every day. The sins of the Jewish people, the sins of Israel in the time of the Greeks and, and the miracle of Hanukkah was that they fratern, frat, frat, fraternizing, being too friendly with the Greeks, studying their culture, defiling the Shabbat, the Jewish people and the holy days, eating not kosher food and neglecting the laws of family purity. The punishment was the spiritual destruction of the, ta the tabernacle, the, the, the sanctuary, the holy temple. Like we said before, the Greeks did not physically destroy the holy temple. They just spiritually defiled it. <clears throat> also, death and slavery and exile. Eventually, this brought about death. I mean, they, they, they fought a big battle against the Greeks, anyone who, and eventually <clears throat> brought exile. The, the Greeks brought an exile, it's called the exile of Madai. Through Chuva, and I mean, the Greeks were, were warriors, right? They killed Jews. <clears throat> they enslaved the Jews, not that they enslaved them like the Egyptians did, but they enslaved them mostly spiritually through doing Chuva by returning to God and self-sacrifice. Then the great miracle of Hanukkah came about. And it was because the Jews were willing to sacrifice their very lives just so that there would be pure Judaism <clears throat> against the whole entire world because of that self-sacrifice as the miracle of Hanukkah came about. And so it is now we have to be proud that we're Jews. I mean, nowadays, even if you're not proud that you're Jews, they still hate you anyway, so at least you should be proud. Now a story. 